Representative Grunhagen, thank you for joining us here today. Hey, nice to be here. Can you describe your district and tell us in what ways you and your district are similar? Well, I, uh, my district's 18B. It's a rural, generally small town district. It's about uh, 55, 60 miles southwest of uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul on Highway 212. That brings you to McLeod County and then uh, Sibley County is the other one I also represent. It's a lot of hardworking, traditional uh, Americans, traditional value Americans who um, want government to, to do what it needs to do, but wants the private sector uh, to accomplish the rest because they believe uh, the private sector can do it more effectively and, fi and efficiently than what the government tends to do. Um, a lot of farming. And uh, so if you like to eat, it's a nice district. <laughs> and I, I developed a, ha uh, a habit of eating at a very young age, <laughs> okay? So I appreciate farmers and, uh, and what they do. And it's a 24-7 job in many cases, especially if you have livestock. So a lot of traditional, uh, a lot of good, strong public schools. Uh, I was on a school board member for 16 years uh, at my local school district. A lot of good teachers. Uh, good public employees uh, trying to do the best they can to create a better society for the current citizens and our children's future. What is your occupation outside the legislature? I uh, started in the insurance industry as a sales uh, agent uh, back in 1978, February 1st, my birth date. And uh, I've grown that into an independent insurance agency that offers multiple line insurance. So I have several agents that work for me along with a couple of secretaries. And I'm located in Glencoe, Minnesota. What legislation have you worked on in the past that you are most proud of? Well, worked on, uh, I've worked on a number of bills uh, in health care. I'm a strong opponent of Obamacare and the uh, Unaffordable Care Act, or the, you know, some people try to call it the Affordable Care Act. And I've got uh, bills that would, I believe, increase patient, a patient access, uh, free up the doctor to uh, practice medicine rather than be micromanaged by government insurance bureaucrats, and uh, actually bring the cost down in many cases. And I've got probably eight to 10 bills I've introduced over the last uh, several years. Um, and I'd like to see more of them go forward. And I think when the majority of citizens in our state get a true understanding of the negative ramifications of the Obamacare, uh, I think you're going to see a, uh, from all political stripes, Democrat, Independent, and Republican, a strong rejection of that approach, centralized government planning with huge bureaucracy, government bureaucracies funded by tax dollars, and reduced uh, reimbursement to doctors and hospitals, along with micromanaging of the doctor-patient relationship. So I want to continue that. It was one of my main themes in running for election. And uh, uh, I hope to see uh, some of those bills eventually enacted. Now, health care is a very complicated area. It's difficult to bring change, uh, so it does take time. But I am uh, very committed to uh, bringing some of those bills and those uh, perspectives to the health care industry. What is the most difficult aspect of being a legislator? I think the, uh, in today's uh, communication um, uh, technology world, I mean, you can get 100 to 250 emails sometimes a day, okay? And I'm a legislator that doesn't delegate that to someone else. I try to go through every email myself, and it is a... a big commitment on a daily basis. Um, and, but I like to do it because I like to respond to people directly as much as possible. If it's a technical question, of course, uh, you have your uh, backup research people here at the, uh, at the uh, legislature to help you out to, to give a proper response. But I like helping people who are experiencing difficulties with uh, government. And uh, when I was a school board member for 16 years, one of the reasons I kept getting elected is because I tried to respond to people um, 
regardless of whether I agreed or disagreed, if they had a uh, problem or a difficulty with the school district, and I tried to do it in a respectful, um, cooperative manner that would hopefully bring resolution to some of the problems. Of course, there are times where you can't solve the problem, and the answer happens to be no. Well, that brings us to the end of our questions. Is there anything else you'd like to add? For those who are watching and our citizens, I just say government needs your input. We have to understand that government uh, needs to be restrained and reformed, and uh, there's some waste, fraud, and abuse in government operations that needs to be eliminated. And as we restrain, reform, and make government more effective and efficient, rather than just keep raising taxes and adding more money to the system, uh, all of us, uh, whether seniors or poor or whatever, will have a better chance to improve our lives in the private sector. And that's one of the basic principles I believe in as a legislator. We need government. We need it to fulfill certain needs but we definitely need to make it as effective and efficient and put as many current reforms in as possible so that the tax dollar goes as far as possible.